This video covers the left side of the telharmonic interface, also known as voltage controlled music theory. It will be most relevant to the H and P outputs because they each consist of three voices that are affected by all the parameters on this side of the module. The Telharmonic is designed to make patch programming of musical sequences and chord progressions easy to do with a minimum of parameters and no required knowledge of music theory. The tonic control sets the tonic frequency around which the three voices are tuned. It is a continuous parameter and its input tracks at one volt per octave. It is very similar to the one volt per octave input on a VCO as it always affects all voices identically. The interval control sets the spacing between the three voices. At maximum, they are spaced one octave up and one octave down from the tonic. As we turn interval down, we hear them detuned to unison, where all three sound the same note. Then one voice shifts up to a fifth, and finally another voice shifts up to a third, producing a triad. Below the initial triad are first and second inversions, which can be useful for adding variety to a chord sequence. The degree parameter moves the three voices up and down the scale defined by tonic. At unison, octave and fifth, degree is quantized to the 12 notes of the chromatic scale. When interval is set to a triad, degree selects between the seven diatonic triads of the scale, color-coded by the color staff, green for major, blue for minor, orange for diminished. Degree updates its value only when it sees gate high at the D gate input. The input is normal to high, so with nothing patched, degree can update any time. Putting a gate sequence in makes it easy to derive recursive melodies and chord progressions from a related or unrelated degree control voltage. Every time degree changes, a trigger is output at the gate out. When interval is not set to triads, you can do traditional sequencing via either degree or tonic. The main difference is that tonic is unquantized and has a larger range, while degree is quantized at the input and has an attenuverter. The attenuverter means we could alter the sequence's range very easily and still always hit chromatic notes. If the panel control is not at either extreme, we can also invert the sequence, a classic counterpoint technique. To sequence chord progressions, just set interval to a triad and modulate degree. Transpose with tonic. To sequence chord progressions where all chords are the same sonority, such as all minor chords, choose the chord using degree and interval and then sequence tonic. Modulation of interval can be used to switch back and forth from chords to melodies, switch between different triad inversions, or to do voltage-controlled detuning. Dialing in the desired modulation range with the input attenuverter is strongly recommended. Using continuous control voltage in degree alongside a gate stream is very much like using track and hold to create chord progressions or melodies out of nothing. A longer gate during a fast CV movement creates a glissando. Wow, 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 wow.
Here's a patch utilizing a number of techniques all in one. Here we'll take advantage of the D gate and gate output to generate variations on a sequence. We are driving the degree CV input and the DPO with the same sequence from Rene. With the degree input attenuverter all the way open, the two will track identically. As we drop the attenuverter, the chord progression's range decreases, but it stays in tune with the sequence because the parameter is quantized. Now we'll strike the DPO with the Rene's Y gate. Use the X gate to allow or disallow the chord from changing using the D gate input. Now we have a rhythm of chord progression that is independent from that of the melody, and we can also increase and decrease its range. We can even invert the chord progression by turning the attenuverter left of 12 o'clock. If we gate the Y clock with a gate from pressure points, we can get a new melody and chord variation with each press of a touch plate. We can also get some randomization of triad inversion with the woggle bug step random out. I'll add modulation to centroid and flux as well for evolution of the chord sound. through the echophone for added texture. <laughs> 